Howdy, 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 my beautiful Pisces. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be getting into your weekly tarot reading, Pisces, for July 2022, all right? Now, Pisces, on the top right-hand corner of your screen, darling, you'll see a link to your monthly tarot reading, so if you want to check that out for your month of July, I would love that, but as well, let me know in the comments below, Pisces, how these tarot readings resonate with you, all right? That's how I keep up with y'all, is through the comments, and I would also appreciate it, Pisces, a completely free way, way to support me is by giving this video a like and subscribe darling i really do appreciate it and darling join the family why not all right now pisces be sure when it comes to receiving zodiac tarot readings that you check out more than just your sun sign all right pisces check out your sun moon rising as well as your venus all right so let's get right into your uh july tarot reading here today pisces and see what's going to be happening now pisces today this week we're going to be tapping into three rows for you the first row is going to be getting into your career as well as your um your uh, financial situation pisces okay and then in the second row pisces this week we're going to be reading some tarot cards covering your social life your romantic life all right your platonic life all right this is just your social life honey it could be top talking about any type of relationship all right and then pisces your third row we're going to be just talking about some general tarot messages that you need to hear today okay so right let's get right into this here pisces back of the deck energy for you darling is the strength energy all right you are emerging victorious here uh pisces i feel as if for you guys the first week of july was pretty rough for you wasn't it darling first week second week here um but you remain victorious i keep i keep on being shown like you are pulling the sword out of the rock darling i forget which uh historical reference it is at the, i mean i'm not very big on history but um yeah you're just like you're pulling the sword out of the rock here all right, uh, Pisces. And so it's like your hard work is being noticed or appreciated here. You are just remaining victorious. You are, it's like people challenge you, Pisces. People, I get like this sense of where it's just like for you, Pisces, like against all odds, you still manage to end up on top here. I don't know. I, I get like this weird sense when it comes to like socially, especially for you, Pisces, that like people were really just trying you it's almost as if certain people were setting you up to fail or just expecting you to fail pisces but you your actions and what you accomplish prove them wrong i get like this strong sense of pride and satisfaction that's going to be happening for you pisces all right so let's get right into this here today pisces into your career and your financial situation we have the seven as well as the nine and then two of wands all that fiery energy here darling right even with that strength that card in the back of the deck for you pisces <sighs> what i want to be telling you pisces it's like be careful about the workplace environment or be careful about your competitors all right i get like this sense of like yeah just overall for you pisces it's just this sense of where either people don't like seeing you win pisces or people are triggered by seeing you win all right i get this sense for you pisces y'all need to just like watch your back all right you know when it comes to your financial matters be a little bit more strict don't just give out your money to people all right at this time because this is just, you have to think about the long term. You have to think about the future. All right, Pisces. While I know it can sound kind of like mean or just what have you, Pisces, or selfish, but I feel like there's like this message where you, Pis uh, you Pisces, where you have to plan for the future here. All right. You can't continue being a people pleaser. Just because you are um, being a people pleaser does not make you a good person, darling. And just because you are making sure that you are, you and your yours are fed first, Pisces, also doesn't make you a bad person. Just so we. We can get that first and foremost understood for you all right i get like this sense for you pisces that you need to just continue going in silence with what it is that you want to accomplish all right because i get for you where it's like you have this for some of you pisces you have this like desire this passion some of you guys want to go up in the ranks and you're in the corporate ladder or when it comes to especially with all this wands energy pisces when it comes to a passion as well you guys don't want to let anyone else in on it because i feel like they're going to just it's going to be more taxing than it's worth like you'll just be looking later on and be like man why don't i even talk to them pisces all right you have such a really solid idea here and with the clarifiers pisces we'll really flesh this out here because there's something major with this all right so just don't let anyone else in on it currently all right 
In regards to your social life, Pisces, you have the Four of Cups and Swords <clears throat> with the Seven of Cups coming in here. <sighs> Pisces, for you, this is kind of interesting to me because I see for you where it's like you were trying so hard with one specific relationship in your life. All right. You really wanted to make it work with them. All right. You really wanted things to just be solid with them here. But for whatever the reason is, I feel like there's this period of silence or where it's almost like this sense of where you're kind of forced Pisces in some ways to look into to look in a different path when it comes to them. Right. It's just like you you kind of gave up. I feel for some of you Pisces, right? You're just like, okay, this is a lost cause, right? They don't want this or just because I feel as if like you weren't doing anything wrong. It's more so like they were just were making things too complicated or sabotaging, what have you. So you were kind of forced to look for other options, Pisces. I see for you, it's the sense of where the moment you start putting distance between yourself and a situation that you tried so hard with to make work initially it's like the moment they see you moving on to other people and seemingly not having a problem with that pisces i wouldn't be surprised if you'll notice those same energies that you originally tried to make out work make work out beforehand try to come back in and be like oh wait a minute pisces wait a minute and, you know i didn't think you would actually leave all right i feel like for some of you pisces some people are going to be looking at you with like um, with like doe or puppy dog eyes all right i feel as if there's like this sense of nostalgia around you pisces currently all right people i don't like people even if you haven't met them before i feel like people are just going to be feel naturally drawn to you but especially people that you have known and like if you post anything like it's like just know the attention that you get this week pisces it's triggering it's triggering nostalgia and nostalgia always kind of puts a rose colored tint on things all right and so just be prepared for interesting energies to come forward to you this week all right pisces good neutral or potentially bad all right it depends on how you see these people all right so your general tarot messages pisces you have the ace as well as the three of swords with the ten of wands darling okay 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 so this is where the victorious part really comes in here pisces all right you guys have been fighting a long battle by yourself right i feel as if it's like you the struggle that you guys have been going through recently pisces you thought you would have had a lot more help like you would have thought on paper darling that you would have had a lot more help pisces than what it is that you actually got that's like the first thing that I like that came to mind here. I feel like for you, Pisces, your story is this sense of where it's like against all odds, you still chose to persevere and you still end up on top. You still end up winning. You prove everyone wrong. I, I get like the strong message for some of you, Pisces, where it's just like you prove family members wrong. When you finally start putting yourself first instead of pleasing all your family, it's like this sense for some of you, Pisces, you like you looked in the mirror, you're just like, wait a minute, why am I trying so hard to please my family members when they've done nothing but make my life more difficult? Difficult. they never approved anything like i get like that that kind of sense here it's like the sense of awareness for you pisces where she's like certain people that you mess with or even like it's just like everyone doubted you no one supported you you were just so used to being the black sheep or feeling as if you're like the middle child even if you're not the middle child uh middle or i don't know why it's like middle or oldest i get especially that i'm feeling like i'm speaking to because it's like the sense of like neglect or the sense of dis disregard associated with your energy here. Not from your end, but from people around you. It's like this sense, I don't know what it is, Pisces. I don't want to describe you as a floor mat because I feel like you would take someone down like just like that all right <laughs> uh, the first came, thing that came to mind um is from my close best friend and she's a pisces as well she's like anything can be a weapon valka anything can be a weapon honey and that's what i think for you guys pisces is like you're not i want to describe you as a floor mat but it's just like the moment someone ha has access to your heart or your energy like you'll just allow a lot of things to slide all right and i see you moving away from that i see for many of you pisces that a lot of confidence is going to be coming in for you because i see the sense for uh i get like the sense you're going to be accomplishing accomplishing something big when it comes to your work life or your financial all right that's what i meant initially when it's like something big here for your first row so we'll get into those clarifiers first for your career and financial because it's like I get this sense of pride, uh, Pisces, pride for what it is that you've built, pride for what it is that you've done and are doing. All right. That's like all that comes to mind initially. 
You'll start clarifying your career now, Pisces, today. Remembering that it's the two, seven, as well as nine of wands that's in your first row for your career in financial. Ten of swords, queen of swords. Okay, swords. Two of cups. Back of the deck is the queen of wands, Pisces, all right? This is your story here. It's like you always had this dream of doing, like you always have had this dream of reaching a certain level of success, financial success, so you could do do a certain trip, so you could buy a house, Pisces. Some of you guys, just the sense of like following in a passion, making a ha passion or a hobby, a career. Or maybe for some of you, Pisces, it's the sense of you always wanted to go to school to be whatever it is, right? I see paper in writing um it's like people doubted you but then you end up on top like you and you do the thing that you do the very thing pisces that everyone doubted you for right you do the very thing that everyone doubted you for the clarifiers queen of swords as well two of cups ten of swords come on queen energy genders obviously darling genders obviously do not matter how you doing <laughs> i have these nails on honey they obviously do not matter all right. I see for many of you guys, this sense of satisfaction, the satisfaction in the job that let you go in the past because of whatever, the people that have doubted you, the people that had always taken money from you, but never made sure that you were eating, that you are good here. I see you needing to be the queen of swords and taking more of a personal approach. I see you kind of stop allowing, ac no longer allowing access, people having certain access to you anymore, Pisces. All right. You're limiting that access to you, but by you limiting your access, um, people's access to you, rather, Pisces, that's when things really will start to blossom. That's when you'll start noticing your financial situation starting to improve, darling. Let's get into now, Pisces, your social life clarifying cards today. Remembering that it was the four of swords and cups with the seven of cups as well. Seven of swords here and the emperor energy. Uh, uh. Oh, this card wanted to come out as well ace of cups and nine of pentacles back of the deck is the three of wands three of wands honey okay socially for you pisces i feel like you guys need to just follow a trail you guys are on the right path to get yourself aligned with certain individuals here all right you need to follow the trail you have some good people around you but i see you disconnecting from a lot of people the more that you start getting yourself more, feeling more empowered pisces not only are you going to notice like it's like this storyline for you pisces is as you continue developing into your emperor self into your emperor self you start noticing seven of swords how many burdens you were taking on that were not your own how many burdens you were taking on pisces that were not your own how many people in your life as you become more of that emperor how many people are, get threatened by that all right and so for you you start having this wake up call moment where you're just like wait a minute you need to be about yourself nine of pentacles and it's by you being more empowered you start attracting better like better empowered people by you focusing on taking care of yourself you start truly attracting people that want to be around you not because of what you can do for them pisces but because they like you for you in the life that you're building for yourself pisces Ooh, right so follow the trail you know what you need to do pisces all right some of you pisces are being a little bit too critical on yourself because you're just it's out of your nature pisces to um do this to you know limit access people have for you especially if it's like family but it's necessary let's clarify your ten of wands ace as well as through your swords and your general tarot messages today pisces let's see what's The world energy coming in here, six of wands coming in, page of pentacles. Yeah. <clears throat> Dawn of a new day for you, Pisces. A new era, darling. All right. It's time for you, uh, Pisces, to put the focus on yourself. I see for many of you, Pisces, uh, y'all are starting. Like, this is like truly the sense, especially going back into my career. Like, Pisces, if there's something that you want to do for your career if or how you want to make money, honor that i can't stress it enough it keeps on coming in for you where you would be really successful with it by you leaning further into the direction of that passion pisces that puts this end of a period for you 
Pisces with that world energy where you are no longer in that period of struggle. It takes you out of this period of struggle. All right. The, the current period that you're in, many of you Pisces, you're looking at your life, what it is that you've been dealing with for the past six, seven months now, for the past two years, Pisces. You're tired of that energy, darling. Let's move on from it here. How you claim this new energy is opening yourself up and making more time for your own personal endeavors, for your own ways to make money. I see you being able to move out of that toxic environment, Pisces. I don't know where that came from, but like I just so much untapped potential, Pisces, so much untapped potential. Let's close out your weekly tarot reading now, Pisces, with some Oracle cards. <laughs> Hopefully you found this reading helpful in some way, though, darling. Be real. Full moon in Aquarius. Being real, Pisces. All right. You have to be real about the situation you're in with certain people. <clears throat> and then you have the Emu card. Now it's the time to go on a new adventure. What was it that I just blurted out about Pisces that I said I didn't know why I said that? And then you get this card. And then you get this card, Pisces, okay? So pretty self-explanatory here, Pisces. I hope this weekly tarot reading resonated with you, Pisces. If it did, remember the top right-hand corner of your screen for your monthly tarot reading. All right, Pisces. As well, if you want to book a private reading with me, Pisces, my website's linked down below, darling, Simply Velka. Dot com. Next to my social medias, if you would like to connect with me on a more intimate level, Pisces, all right? Simply Velka on both TikTok and Instagram. Same as here, darling, all right? But until next time, Pisces, I love you so much, darling, and hopefully I can give you another tarot reading sometime in the near future. Bye, darling. <laughs>